is Amy from Amy's Resin Corner and my daughter Summer. Okay, we are going to um, try our jar again, our candy bowl. But this time I'm not going to put um, brown and orange. We're going to do it clear and clear with um, some of this in it. And all that is, is iridescent uh, fine glitter. Okay. I have hurt my arm, so my daughter is going to be pouring for me, just like she um, mixed it for me, because I couldn't do it. Okay. Just pour. Which one? Pour this one first slowly because I want to try to get the air bubbles out of the uh, stop you sure <laughs> Now, what I'm going to try to do is get some air bubbles that could be lurking down here because I forgot to spray some alcohol in it, honestly. I love this part. Pick and drop. Up, oh, drop. <laughs> I might do this in a couple, couple. I can't even talk. Couple different levels this time. Uh, now I'll pour some in this and get it. You'll have to pick it up. There's a little knob down here. If you have seen this video before that you mash like this and I probably just mashed every one of my uh you gotta barely mash it one if you I put um pearls. I, yeah pearls in the bottom thank you because I couldn't think of it and I was looking at them and then we've got these so I'd like to get some I never sometimes I don't finish my sentences I'd like to get some shiny in it my ear just went out and then go back with the clear now I know it's hard to see with two people doing it Yeah, go on and put some in. Okay. <laughs> now you're dropping it. Now I'm going to do my happy up and down. I'm going to try to mash. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get any bubbles up. There went one. That was quite a big bubble. See, I can mash the pearls back down in there. But you really need to get these bubbles out. which I am continuously doing right now. Now I'm going to shove my little pearls back down in there as much as I can. I don't have as many um, flowers in it this time. 
I didn't have some of the flowers I wanted in it, but that's all right. Now, I'm going to leave this one alone for a minute. Let it try to harden up some. I would pour more of that in here. You just pour it straight in the middle and it'll run it down. Okay, stop. I forgot to spray them. I get where I do too much of that sometimes. to try to put some of this in, weigh it down. I don't want to fill this one completely up because I want to come back and try to keep the flowers near the top. And this, I put too much in because in a lot of molds, once you spray alcohol, if it's full, it will overflow it. And that's pretty much what I've done. I sprayed the alcohol and then I filled it too full. Got my little bubbles popping up here. If it don't want to pop, I'll just try to pull it out. And I am going to try to keep this from having a lot of bubbles. See if I can turn it. Okay, now there's still a few. These little points going around the bottom of this, they tend to want to hold bubbles there. That's why you have to go back around and look at them. When I see a bubble, I'm going to get it out. So as much as I've went around these, let's just hope I get all of them. So now that I've got some of it out, I might spray it again. Do it like 
this. See if I see any bubbles. Sometimes it just takes time. And on this one over here, we've got my pearls coming out the bottom. So if one or two comes up, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. So I'm going to stop there. And well, let me see. We did put one in this keychain. I think I put it in upside down, to be honest. Yep, that's what it was. So I'm just going to put some more in this. If it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. It might stick up a little bit, but I can go back over that with my UV resin and it'll be fine. Do it very slow. Uh, grab you an owl. It's back here behind them. It's either that or you want to pour it in, uh, finish pouring it in there. Pour it in that one. We'll come back and make owls. Pour it in the sides, not the middle. Because it's going to make them float. So, I used more of it than I thought we were going to, but it still has the coat that we can do at the bottom, which I will probably do um, either clear or clear with a little iridescent. Because I don't want that to be where all the sticks are sticking up from the flowers and, and it's been getting really cold out here in my building so we haven't really been able to come out here and do a lot so we brought <laughs> a little space heater out here and it was so hot when I come in here I turned off turned the air on
Okay. We'll be back. We're going to have to let this dry some before we can put another coat on. So, love y'all. See you in a little bit. Hi, it's Amy from Amy's Racing Corner, and my daughter Summer's here. Um, we're going to demold this. I hurt my hand, and I hurt, uh, hurt my arm, <laughs> and my foot. <laughs> Really hope this does turn out nice. Summer Hill. Turn that side over there. Okay. <laughs> it is still a little bendable. I need to rinse that out because I used alcohol to get it out that time. Okay. What? That's epoxy. So, we got our flowers. see there was a bubble here and I covered it up before it came out I don't know if you can see it but it's right there and you can't even feel it now and this actually floated up but didn't come out so that looks nice. I was just coming to you, baby. This has your beads in the end. I, l I do like the clear one. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to have to get me a new mold because it's not wanting to go on right. It's wanting, The top is wanting to go like an oval shape. It went oval and then it didn't and there is a woo throw it Amy there is some bubbles in here I don't know why but they kind of caught me there's one two three four so I have four bubbles one two three four five bubbles <clears throat> But, you could just, where is my tool? <laughs> I'm a looking, stuff's getting moved around. I think it's in the Oh. No, I don't see it. I'm going to have to find it. But you can use your deburrowing tool or the uh, one of these and be very careful with this. You can do that and just go by and get it out or you can put some UV resin in these little holes. I'm using the back side of this. You can use a uh, UV resin and maybe fix it but I'll probably just go back when I find my deburrowing tool and use it 
I do like the back because it's a little bit cooler out in my So she said here that now if I get out here in time and it's bendable then I can bend it back and just leave it on here on the top so there's a few bubbles I got four or five bubbles in the whole thing but it's so pretty I really like this clear Some of them did float up, some from the bottom, but some of them stayed close at the bottom. And then the top, you could tell that there's stuff in it. The bottom I kept clear, except for one little tiny little piece that come off one of these. But that is my new one, and I really, really enjoy that. Now this one, it's not dry, and I know it ain't dry, but it does have a little, um, spillage over the top, and I'm going to have to poke You could get just about used about anything to do that. But when I find my tool, I can just cut around in here and that'll be fine. And I put one flower or one little thing in the end. And you can feel it in like three, four places. What is up with four today? But it is really pretty. I actually really like that. I'm trying to find something it'll show up on. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what we done. And we have to go get the grandbaby off the bus. So, we're going to have to jump off here. Thank you for watching. Remember, if someone else doesn't like it, or just because you don't like it, don't mean someone else won't. I'm getting tongue-tied today. Uh, but thank you all for uh, liking. Thank you all for your subscriptions. Please remember to subscribe, like, and um, ring that bell, comment. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.